Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Miss Nigeria 2019 Nayakashi Douglas says she will definitely be visiting Jamaica and already the tourism ministry is working to make it happen. Jamaica! Douglas was Jamaica's biggest cheerleader on Saturday when 23-year-old St. Thomas native Tony Ann Singh was announced Miss World 2019. Meanwhile, residents of Tony Ann's hometown in Bath, St. Thomas, have welcomed the crowning as their 2019 Christmas gift. They say they are thrilled by her accomplishment, which is a win for Jamaica, the parish, and their community. Public and political pressure has forced the Ministry of Tourism to reduce the $17 million price tag it had announced a year ago to construct Montego Bay's iconic welcome sign. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett said taxpayers of Jamaica spent $9.7 million and the private sector $5 million for a grand total of $14.7 million. Telecommunications company Flow has now restored service to customers who were affected by an outage on the weekend. The issue affected the entire island and was the subject of a report to the technology minister today. In sports, Malines United President Herman Cruikshank says the Red Stripe Premier League organizers should put aside a cash allocation to help promoted teams. He says this would help to offset expenses the teams are facing, especially at the beginning of the season. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $134.21, the British pound sterling for $179.27, and the Canadian dollar for $100.05. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across sections of most parishes, with isolated thunderstorms across western parishes. And that's it for the Leader Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.